Hi, I've uh, got more questions this morning and um, today's questions are going to be for Ian Duncan Smith. Um, again, there's a lot to get through so I'm just going to go straight for it this morning. Uh, okay, my first question for you is, are your parents related? Because really honestly, I can't understand in any way how somebody can be so genetically fucked up in the head. Seriously. There doesn't seem to be any feasible or plausible explanation for what you are. It, it's definitely not right. Um, the second question that I've got for you is your CV is really quite interesting and it, it's widely available online for anybody that wants to go and find it. Um, it's, it's really interesting because <clears throat> anybody who writes a CV embellishes it a little bit. You know, it's, it's common standard practice, everybody does it. But your CV is embellishment to the extreme because you actually have no qualifications you lied about the two universities that you went to because the actual university you went to weren't handing out degrees so you lied and claimed that you had a degree when actually no you didn't and then you claimed that you'd been to another certain prestigious school when actually all you did was rock up to some weekend courses. Anybody in a high profile job has to have some level of qualification because that's what you and your cronies tell us all. You can't get a good job unless you go to university we bleed you dry for thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to give you this bullshit education and that's how you get a good job. What I don't quite understand about this is how you manage to get away with it. I can only assume that you managed to get away with it because the team that you work around are also a massive bunch of lying cunts. There's no other way really to look at it. Um, <clears throat> the other interesting thing about your CV <clears throat> is that um, anyone who turned up to a job interview with a resume like yours would pretty much be laughed out of the building because you've been fired from every single job that you've ever had and looking at it I mean looking at the history it's just incredible how many times you've been sacked because your level of incompetence is so incredible um, having said that actually level of incompetence what what a lot of people probably don't realize is that actually being in the jobs that you have in all reality has nothing to do with your level of competence it's the fact that you're part of their boys club um, because to be to be fair and you know looking at this as a total outsider there is more chance of a murderer that's done 20 years in prison rocking up to a job interview and getting the job over you that's how shocking your your list of failures are. Um, obviously, given that you are probably the biggest failure in the country, um, you then went on to write a book called The Devil's Tune. Now, I've had a little look into um, what what people had to say about this book and it's 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 really fascinating actually because it's been deemed one of the worst literary offenses 
ever created. So not only are you massively shit at every single job you've done, when you've turned your hand to writing, you failed at that too. Now, assuming your parents are ordinary people, because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here, they must be so utterly ashamed of you, it's untrue. I mean, I, I just don't understand how your, your own mother can look you in the face, to be fair. Um, in fact, it was so bad that it wasn't even released in paper book, in paperback because nobody bought it because it was that shit. The name of the book itself carries all kinds of questions that even I don't want to know the answer to. And, and that's saying something. It really is. Um, another interesting thing about you, obviously, is, is uh, the fact that you're quite well known um, by your initials, IDS. Now, I'm sure it's a total mistake that um, IDS, your initials, sound like some kind of hideous disease. Um, unfortunate, but it, it kind of carries me on to my next line of questioning, which is obviously your involvement with ATOS which has been a resounding success. Um, the first thing I'd like to know about your involvement with ATOS is there's been a number of stories in the press about how um, there, there's been coma patients that have been declared fit for work. Um, again, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you are literally, well, you're only metaphorically fucking these people up the arse pipe. Because it just, it defies belief that this could be happening. Now, I have no doubt that it is happening. Um, and it does kind of beg the questions, is it your sheer incompetence, because obviously we've already covered the fact that you're horrendously shit at your job, or is it, is it for fun? Do you do this for fun? Like when you, when you go to meetings and you meet up with the ATOS bosses, are you dressed as the fucking Grim Reaper or something for gags? Because it no no functioning human being is ever going to be able to comprehend that level of utter cock gobbling piss wizardry it's, it, i just i just don't get it i really don't understand how how um the next question that I have for you is um, you are supposedly worth around about one and a half million quid, um, which I suppose is quite fortunate for you really, because given your CV, the fact that you've been fired from every job you've ever had, the fact that you are completely incompetent, um, it, 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 it's quite lucky because otherwise you would be one of the homeless people that you find so hugely offensive um, you've been quoted as saying that you could quite easily live off of 53 pounds a week and obviously there's that very famous incident where your breakfast cost more than that Do you think you could live off of 53 pounds a week because you are ass fucking 
the British taxpayer and are actually probably the second biggest benefit claimant in the country. Your list of expenses is utterly incredible. Um, or are you that detached from reality that you actually believe that any human being in this country at this time after the bullshit lie shitting austerity crap that you assholes have spouted for the last few years Are you that detached? Do you really believe it's humanly possible? Have you any comprehension of how much anything costs? Either way, you, you, I, I've I, I've seen more sense in in a brain dead vegetable. Anyway, we'll move on. Um. Now, there's an interesting list here, um, which I've compiled through uh, research, basically, having a look online and seeing what people have to say about you. Now, I quite like this list. Um, you, you've got to love the great British public, really, because they've come up with some alternative names for you. Um, and what I'd like to do is ask you, out of this list of names, which one you would choose if you had to. So, uh, the first one is Ian Spunking Whiff. Then we've got Ball Sucking Jizz Dump. Uh, this one's pretty good actually. The blistering pustule infecting humanity. The canker sore of the disabled. Baldy. And quite simply, cunt. Um, I like all of them. I think they're all good. But if you want to, you know, if you if you want to choose one, then that would be marvellous. Um, I, I think we've pretty much covered everything this morning. So if you can get back to me, that would be marvellous. <laughs> 